Okay, so here's how to use the Yamaha Monitor Mix app for in-ears in the auditorium. First thing you want to do is go to your settings. You want to select the Wi-Fi network for the board. And you want to do this first as you will not be able to connect to the board unless you're on the proper network. So as it's pulling up right here is AVL. And the first time you access it, you'll need a password and we'll get that to you as you need it. I would also encourage you to go to uh, display and brightness and set your auto lock to never just while you're using the in-ear monitor mix. Uh, that way it doesn't lock and in case you need to get to it during the middle of a song or something, you'll be able to. So you'll open up Yamaha monitor mix. Monitor mix is the name of the app. You'll just go to your app store and search Yamaha monitor mix pull that up and then it'll show you which mixer to connect to you just want to click Yamaha TF that's the one here in the auditorium hit connect the pin is six nine six nine zero zero which is the address of the auditorium and then it'll pull up which uh, aux to use so aux is just has some language as far as audio goes uh, depending on where you are on the stage uh, there will be a labeled cord for you to use and I'll show you that in a moment. So right now I'm going to select this one as if I was in aux 3 in your monitor mix 1. Hit done and it'll pull up. So this is the interface for it. Uh, you just uh, touch and scroll. Uh, this is exactly as you would see on the board. So this is those are some wireless mics and there are the drums, there are uh, instruments, guitars, bass, vocals, and then uh, some other things down here towards the end. Uh, so what? Uh, what's really simple? Um, we'll do our sound check as normal. Like so, if we start with the kick, you can turn that up as you need it. When we go to the snare, you just touch and pull it up or down. What's great is you can touch anywhere on the column, and just in case you have to do it on the fly or whatever, you don't have to like press and hold that great part. So you can turn those up as you need them as we're going through sound check and uh, other guitars. So say we have the keys left back, have those there. Guitar four we're using, Vox one, lead Vox, key Vox. And then all the way over here towards the end is where we'll have, you know, the handheld mic for the speaker or if they're using the headset or something like that. Uh, over here is your master volume. I would say start it with somewhere, you know, around around there in between negative five, negative three or whatever so that you have enough headroom to make everything loud enough in your ears. What's also really great is this button right here, this square button. If you press that, then it collapses everything down to only the channels that you are using, only the ones that you have audio coming from, which is really helpful uh, so you don't have to wade through a bunch of other channels that you're not using for that particular set. So that's uh, super helpful. If it's turned up, then uh, it'll come up when you collapse those down. That's pretty simple in, in how to use it. You just navigate it that way and turn things up or down as you need them in your ears. <clears throat> so what you will be using is here, as you can see, inner one, inner seven, uh, right here in this first uh, sound box. There are these connectors. So they're the same ones, basically, that we had with the Avioms. And so this one is going into in-ear monitor mix seven. So that is the one that you would select on your app. And then you would plug your headphones into that jack. And then this is another master volume uh, to use for for your mix. Wherever you are on stage, it doesn't matter uh, where you are on stage, you're always going to use the app to control. And then you're going to use one of these headphone jacks that are hardwired into the, the sound box. So depending on where you are, you will select uh, that monitor mix to use on the app. Sweet.